we are at a stage where it'd be really nice to have a very simple input form, somewhere where we can select the letter to guess, press a button, and that letter will be sent to this particular script. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, in here, and the first thing I need to do, because we're dealing with PHP and we're going to be dealing with HTML, I need to close off the PHP at this stage here and then reopen down here. Let's just create a little bit of space in here for the HTML form. We'll start off with a very basic form tag. In that form tag, I need a method. My method will be equal to a post. And my action, where am I going to send this data to? It's going to go to this particular script. So it's sending it to itself. Inside here, I said what I would like on my form is a drop down. So that's going to be a select. My select will need to have a name, and the name will be equal to guess. And inside each of these selects, we will have the different options and their values. So we'll have an option. And each of these options will have a value. And the value, for example, will be A. And in here, we will have A. So let's go ahead and just refresh, and we'll see what we've got so far. So there we've got the letter A in our little drop down. The other thing we will need is uh, some sort of button. So let's just have an input here. And this input, let's have a type is equal to submit. The name is equal to submit. And let's have a value. So what appears on the button equal to guess. So we very clearly see that this is the guess button. Let's have a look at that. There we go. Now I know what I'm going to need to do is to repeat this A, B, C, D, etc., all the way to Z, which would result in a lot of lines of code. And there is a better way to tackle that, and that's using a little bit of PHP. So how do we do that? Well, I know I'm going to be repeating this line here, 23. So let's break out of the HTML and start up PHP. And this line here, 24, is what I'm going to be repeating. So I'll just finish that tag there. And in here, this is what I'm going to echo. So I'm going to echo the following. So I'm going to echo that. And in here, where I've got the letter A and the letter A here, I want some code that will generate that for me. So I'm going to delete that letter A, put in two tick marks put into concatenation marks. And in here, this is where I'm going to have a letter. So letter. I'm going to do the same thing here. So two tick marks, two concatenation marks, and letter. Now, where's that letter coming from? How am I generating that? Well, I need to repeat this for the letters A to Z, this line here, line 24. So what I'm going to have is for each something, I'm going to do something. The something that I'm going to do is to echo out this. So let me grab that and pop it in here. And then for each what? Well, for each letter in the range A to Z. And there is an inbuilt function called range. So take the range. Which range are we going for? We're going from A, comma, to Z. So take each of those as an individual letter, and I want you to pop them in here. Now those letters, because I said earlier we'd be dealing with uppercase, I'd also like these to be uppercase. So just to make sure that is actually the case, I'm going to do a string to upper of that letter. I'm going to do the same thing here. So string to upper of that letter. There we go, no errors. So we'll just close off this one here. Just take that space up, go over to here and refresh. And there I go, I've got the letters A to Z in that little drop down. So hopefully you found that useful. It's a really nice way of generating these selects. You can do it with numbers, letters, etc., And it just cuts down on the lines of code. If you found this video useful, then remember to give me a quick thumbs up. And if you would like to be notified when I release new videos, then hit that subscribe button and remember to click on the little notification bell.